Hello people, Intel plans to launch a total of 21 CPUs in its Arrow Lakers Core Ultra 200 desktop CPU lineup revealed Benchlife. Intel's Arrow Lakers Core Ultra 200 desktop CPU family is fast approaching its launch. The lineup is expected to get a formal unveil at Computex 2024 and we should expect a launch sometime by the middle of 2H 2024. So far, we have learned details about a few SKUs including the Unlocked K family which will include the Core Ultra 9 285. 5K, Core Ultra 7 265K and the Core Ultra 5 245K. It was also reported yesterday that the lineup is unlikely to include any Core Ultra 3 variant, the successor to the Core War 3 series. Now, new information has been revealed which suggests that the company plans on launching a total of 21 SKUs in its Arrow Lakers Core Ultra 200 series. In addition to the 3K series chips, the lineup will include 5 non-K chips rated at the 65 watts PL1 TDP and a total total of 13 chips featuring a TDP of 35 watts PL1. These SKUs are expected to launch slightly later than the K-series 125 watts PL1 parts. On the other hand, what we know about the Intel Core Ultra 2 series of Arrow Lakers product plans is that there will be three products of the 125 watts K-series processors, covering Intel Core Ultra 9, Core Ultra 7 and Core Ultra 5, of which Intel Core Ultra 9 will be processors in 8 plus 16 configurations, followed by 8 plus 12 and 14C 6 plus 8 configurations. As for the non-K series, that is, the 65 watts part of the processor planning, in principle it is the same as the K series, except that a 6 plus 4 configuration processor will be provided in the Intel Core Ultra 5 part. Already known information, Intel Core Ultra 2 will have a total of 8 Arrow Lakers generation processors in 125 watts and 65 watts. As for the 35 watts products, there will be 13 processors, Arrow Lake S only provides Intel Core Ultra 9, Core Ultra 7 and Core Ultra 5 series processors. Intel is expected to utilize two main dies for its Arrow Lakers Core Ultra 200 chips. One of these will be the higher end H0 die with 8P cores and 16E cores, while the other will be a more toned down 6P core and 8E core configuration known as C0. All dies will feature Lion Cove as the P core architecture and Skymont as the E core architecture. These chips will be compatible with the LG 1851 socket. As for the platform itself, we will first see the launch of the high-end 800 series boards such as the Z890 products which are expected to feature native Thunderbolt 4 capability. Intel will expand its 800 series portfolio with H870 and B860 options with the 65 watts and 35 watts SKUs. Only the unlocked K SKUs will be able to support DDR5-6400 native memory, while the non-K chips are expected to feature support for up to DDR5-5600 native speeds. Expect more information in the coming days.